This is the Aptera, and Aptera unveiled its Gamma pre-production model here at Fully Charged Live in San Diego, and I had a chance to check it out. So let's see what the Aptera is all about. If you're unfamiliar with what the Aptera is, it's a unique two-seat, three-wheeled vehicle that's classified as an auto cycle. What's unique about the Aptera is it does have solar panels on the vehicle itself, so you can actually utilize the sun to charge your vehicle, which is really neat. It was one of the most highly anticipated vehicles here at Fully Charged Live, and I had the opportunity to get a walkthrough with Chris, the co one of the co-founders of Aptera. So Aptera, some specs on it is it'll start around $25,900 for the 250 mile EV range of the vehicle. But what's really unique about the Aptera is they are offering a up to 1,000 mile EV range vehicle, and that price is $44,900. Now, the Aptera is standard with front wheel drive and you can option in all wheel drive if you like for $2,500. But let's start with the exterior here on the Aptera. I love how sculptuous it looks up front. I love that all the lights kind of wrap around the body parts of the vehicle. And they're definitely all about aerodynamics and efficiency when it comes to the Aptera and it really shows. One of the things I wanted to show was what one of the solar panels looks like for one of the body parts of the Aptera and it looks really unique. Here's what the side profile of the Aptera looks like. And this is one of the paint schemes you can get. There's multiple ones, but this is one of the ones that they brought here to the show. But I like how it looks. You can see how sculptuous it is up front and then it gets very angular towards the rear because it's all about efficiency and aerodynamics. But once again, the taillights kind of wrap around and in between the taillights there is actually where the charge port is. And speaking of the charge port, Aptera does want to go with the Tesla proprietary. So I'll be curious to see how that works out as no other manufacturer has utilized the Tesla proprietary connector for charging. But the rest of the exterior here of the Aptera, I still think it looks really great. It's still really unique. I like the front wheel covers that you see here with the turn signals that kind of wrap around. I like the two-tone, it looks really cool. One neat feature is you're supposed to be able to knock on that Aptera logo on the back panel and it actually opens out the door, but that wasn't working whenever I was looking at the vehicle. But here you can see some of the mechanics of the front wheels and there are sensors here that way you know how far away you are from an object or from a vehicle. But yeah, I really like the way the exterior looks here on the Aptera. So let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. So they're able to open up the interior for us. And this is one of the many options you can select from for the interior of the Aptera. Now, Aptera is going to be focused all on eco materials to utilize here in the interior. So once again, this is a prototype vehicle. So not everything you see here will be final production. But here, I just wanted to see what the wheel cover looks like for the rear wheel, which is really cool. You can see how sculpted the underside of the vehicle is here. What's unique about the Aptera is this trunk space actually offers you 25 cubic feet of rear storage which is actually really cool here you can see a close-up of where the charge port will be underneath your license plate and the rear camera there but yeah i think this aptera the vehicle is going to offer you quite a lot of storage for just two individuals so i really appreciated that but uh, i like how open it is so you can actually easily get things in and out and here I am climbing into the Aptera, the interior of the Aptera. And I think this reminds me of climbing into a BMW I hate, for example, probably because of the doors and the way the doors opened up. I like the plus and minus symbols here on the pedals. That was a really unique touch that they added. But once again, all the materials here, the screens were not operational um, as this was a prototype. So I was not able to test out the Intermedia Central infotainment display that they're going to be going with but I will be excited to do so in the future. All the materials still felt very nice for the Aptera, even though I know this is still a prototype. But I still think the material is gonna be really nice because they are very eco-conscious. And I think there's a lot of great visibility. You can see the bottom window here is the one that will actually roll down for you. But I still feel like there was a lot of great visibility here in the Aptera in the interior. So, these are my quick impressions of what the Aptera, the Gamma prototype, for example, that I was able to see was like. And here's what it looks like on the road. So you can actually see what the solar panels look like on the hood. 
and there's actually a, a hidden little button underneath the mirror here that you can actually pop <laughs> to uh, open up the door. But yeah, so I'm really excited about the Aptera. I'm really excited to see the 1,000 mile EV range vehicle. They tell it to be, I really want to test out to see what the solar panels are like because here in some parts of the country, we don't get as much sun as California. So I'd be really curious to see what that's like to actually test. So definitely give a look at the Aptera if you're interested in a very unique two-seat vehicle that you can take on a thousand-mile EV journey.